Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful little cardigan sweater, coat, or jacket for baby boys and girls between three and six months old. It's super easy to make, so I hope you like it. Now, the little cardigan that we're going to make in the tutorial is for three to six months, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger from a newborn size and up to 12 months. Down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out and as always if you prefer a written pattern check out my Etsy shop I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below thank you so much for your support now let's get started don't forget to subscribe activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that YouTube can recommend my videos and if you like this tutorial please hit that like button thanks so much for watching Okay, to make this little cardigan sweater, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this number three yarn. You can also use DK weight or a ply. In the information box below, I'll go ahead and leave you the name of the yarn that I'm using. Now, I'm going to use two colors, white and yellow, so in total, you're going to need about 120 grams for the three to six month size. I'd say about 85 grams in white and about 35 grams in yellow. Now, to begin, I have 53 chains. This chain here, without stretching or anything, is measuring about 11 inches, which is about 28 centimeters. Now, if your chain is off by one or two centimeters, it's okay, just continue. So here, to begin with the first row, into the second chain from the hook, one, two, into this second chain here, insert your hook and make a single crochet. Into the next chain, make a single crochet, single crochet into the next and so on for this first row this is all i'm going to do i'm going to make one single crochet on each chain at the end of this first row i'm going to have 52 single crochets continue and i'll meet you at the end of this row I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 52 single crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now these two chains from here on do not count. They're just here so that when we finish the yoke, this part here is nice and straight. Now to begin the second row, I'm going to make three double crochets and then into the fourth single crochet, I'm going to make two double crochets. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first single crochet, make a double crochet. That's one, two, three. Into the next, make two double crochets. One and two. This is all you're going to do for the rest of this second row. You're going to make three double crochets. One, two, three, and into the next two double crochets. Now, continue like this to the end of this second row. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I finished the second row here at the end. I finished by making these last four double crochets. At the end of this second row, I have 64 double crochets. Now for the third row, chain two and turn. Now in this row, I'm going to make four double crochets, then into the next, I'm going to make two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet, that's one, two, three, four. Now into the next, make two double crochets. And this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this third row. You're going to make four double crochets and then to the next two. Four, two, four, two until you finish this third row. Continue, I'll meet you at the end. I finished the third row. At the end of this third row, I have 76 double crochets. Now for the fourth row, chain two and turn. Now in this row, I'm going to make five double crochets, then two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five double crochets, and into the next two. 
And this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fourth row. You're going to make five double crochets, then two, five, two, five, two, until you finish this fourth row. At the end of this fourth row, you're going to have 88 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I finished the fourth row. At the end of this fourth row, I have 88 double crochets. Now for the fifth row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now in this fifth row we're going to repeat the same thing we did in the second row i'm going to make three double crochets then two three two three two until i finish the row so let me show you beginning on top of the first double crochet make a double crochet that's one two three now into the next make two double crochets one more time make three double crochets one, two, three, and into the next two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fifth row. So continue making three double crochets, then two, three, two, to the end of this fifth row. I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I finished the fifth row. At the end of this fifth row, I have a total of 109 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now for the sixth row, we're going to make four double crochets, then two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make the first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four double crochets. And into the next, make two double crochets. And this is how we're going to continue for this sixth row. You're going to make four double crochets, then two, all the way to the end. I'll meet you at the end of this sixth row. I finished the sixth row. At the end of this row, I have a total of 130 double crochets. Now, here at the end, I cut my yarn past my yarn through that last loop. For the seventh row, we're going to turn here. I'm going to use the second color here, go on top of the first double crochet, grab a loop here, bring it through. So here, chain two. Remember the two chains never count. Now on top of this first double crochet, make a double crochet. Now into the second one, work a front post double crochet. Into the next one, back post double crochet. Into the next front post double crochet. And into the next back post double crochet. This is how I'm going to continue here for this seventh row is making front post and back post double crochets continue i will meet you at the end of this seventh row i'm here at the end of this seventh row where i did front post and back post double crochets now here at the end i finished by making a double crochet on top of the last double crochet i have a total of 130 stitches now here at the end i cut my yarn and i'm going to pass my yarn through this last loop now for row eight i'm going to Use the white yarn again. We're going to turn this and we're going to go on top of the last double crochet that I did for row seven. Grab a loop here. Now chain two on top of this same stitch here, make a double crochet. Now here I'm going to make three double crochets, then I'm going to make two. Let me show you, I have one, two, three, into the next, make two one and two again make three double crochets one two three and into the next two this is how we're going to continue here for this eighth row i'll meet you at the end i finished making the eighth row here at the end of the eighth row i finished with two double crochets i have a total of 162 double crochets at the end of the eighth row and the yoke is done now the yoke it's measuring about nine centimeters which is about 3.5 inches now we're going to divide the sleeves in the next row so here i want you to place some stitch markers we have a total of 162 stitches for each one of the front panels we're going to mark 24 stitches for the sleeves mark 33 stitches and for the back side 48 stitches now this is going to be the first row because i'm going to divide the sleeves and i always like to start counting rows 
when I divide the sleeves that way I can tell you how many rows I do from here on now let's see here I'm going to I forgot to mention I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop so we're going to turn this over like this this here is the wrong side this here is the right side of the yoke so turn this over we're going to go on top of the last double crochet and again for this I'm going to switch to this yellow color here I'm going to bring a loop through and I am going to chain two one two now on top of this first double crochet here make a double crochet and then we're going to work into the second double crochet here work a front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet front post double crochet back post double crochet and this is how I'm going to work these 24 stitches for this front panel so continue I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to divide the first sleeve I finished making these front post and back post double crochets for this first front panel. I have 24 stitches. Now my last stitch here is a front post double crochet. To divide the first sleeve, chain four. Now we're going to skip 33 double crochets. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 33 and into the first double crochet after the stitch marker this one here i'm going to make a double crochet and here's the first sleeve if you want to add more chains here under the sleeve to add to the uh, chest measurement you can the only thing is that make sure that when you finish this first row it's in multiples of four now to continue here we're going to go into the next stitch here for the back side and work a back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet and so on this is how you're going to continue here for the back side until you come to the next stitch marker. I will meet you here to show you how we're going to divide the second sleeve. I finished making these front post and back post double crochets for the back side. Now I have 48 stitches here for the back side. To divide the second sleeve, chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going to skip these 33 double crochets for the second sleeve and into the double crochet after the stitch marker here I'm going to make a front post double crochet. Now we're going to continue along for the second front panel and work one front post and back post double crochet on each one of these remaining stitches continue I will meet you at the end of this first row I finished the second front panel now here at the end of this first row at the end on top of the last double crochet I finished by making a double crochet then I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop and this row here is done now at the end of this row I have a total of 96 double crochets I have 24 and 24 double crochets for each one of the front panels and for the back side I have 48 plus eight chains four chains under each sleeve now to continue we're going to turn this over from here on this is going to be the right side and this is going to be the wrong side now to continue here here's where i finished i'm going to go on top of this first double crochet right here which is the last one that i did in row one i'm going to switch back to the original color here the main color which is the white color and i'm going to chain three one two three now these three chains here counts as a double crochet from here on now here we're going to begin our pattern i'm going to skip three double crochets counting from the beginning one two three and into the fourth double crochet here i'm going to make a fan each one of these fans is going to consist of two double crochets chain one two double crochets Now skip one, two, three, and into the fourth double crochet, make your second fan. Skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, make your third fan. This is how I'm going to continue for this second row. 
you skip three and into the fourth you make a fan and that's all continue for the second row i will meet you here at the end i'm here at the end of this second row now up to here this is my last fan i have 25 fans to finish here i'm going to skip three double crochets and on top of the last one i'm going to make a double crochet and here's the second row now for the third row i'm going to chain three and turn now this third row is actually the second row for the pattern this pattern consists of two rows the first row is this row that i just showed you where we do the fans and then this next row that i'm going to show you it's what we're going to repeat from here on so for the third row we have the first fan we have four double crochets into the second double crochet here make a front post double crochet and inside the chain one space make a v-stitch a double crochet chain one double crochet and into the third double crochet work a front post double crochet again we have the second fan work a front post double crochet into the second double crochet make a v-stitch inside the chain one space of this fan and then a front post double crochet and this is all we're going to do here for this third row and actually these are the two rows that you're going to repeat from here on and this is how it looks on the wrong side and here is the right side continue like this for this third row i'll meet you at the end now here at the end you always go into the second chain and make a double crochet and here is the third row for the fourth row chain three and turn now as i mentioned from here on these are the two rows that we repeat in the fourth row i need to make the row of fans so inside each one of the chain spaces of each fan here you're going to make a fan again like this and then inside the next a fan here we're doing the same thing we did in the second row continue like this to the end of this fourth row I will meet you there I'm here at the end of the fourth row this is where we do the row of fans now at the end of every row from here on we're always going to have 25 fans to finish each row you're always going into the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet now for row five we're going to chain three and turn in the fifth row we make the row where we do the front post double crochets and these are the two rows that we repeat so here we have the four double crochets into the second double crochet make a front post double crochet into the chain space make a v-stitch and then work a front post double crochet into the third double crochet and this is all we have to do just repeat these two rows from here on very easy stitch pattern now continue finish this row now i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do here but all we're going to do is just repeat these two rows continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do so i will meet you at the end of that row i finished this part i did a total of 12 rows here of this pattern including the first row where we divided the sleeves i have 13 rows my last row here the 12th row was worked on the wrong side and it was the row where we do the front post double crochets now this part here is measuring from the top of the neckline here to the end of the last row it's measuring about 24 centimeters which is about 9.5 inches now i'm going to make a couple more rows here at the bottom and i'm going to work front post and back post double crochets just like we did here now for row 14 this is what we're going to do chain three turn now into each one of these let's see fans into the chain one space make two double crochets now in the middle between the fans right here just insert your hook there and make two double crochets again into the chain one space of the next fan make two double crochets and in the middle between the fans make two double crochets that's all I'm going to do so continue for this 14th row I'll meet you at the end I'm here at the end of this 14th row I have 100 double crochets now here at the end all I did was just make my last double crochet cut my yarn pass my yarn through that last loop now for the first row here of the bottom of the sweater this is what we're going to do we're going to turn this here like this 
and I'm going to change yarn color here so I'm going to go on top of the last double crochet I'm going to grab a loop here and I'm going to chain three one two three now we have these double crochets we're going to work front post and back post double crochet so beginning into the first double crochet here make a front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet and so on continue like this to the end of this first row i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of this first row this is where i did front post and back post double crochets to finish here into the second chain insert your hook and make a double crochet now for the second row chain three and turn now in this row we're going to repeat the same thing into this next double crochet make a front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet and so on here we're just making the same thing continue like this to the end of this second row i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of this second row now to finish here i'm going to work a back post double crochet and then into the second chain here at the end make a double crochet I'm only going to do two rows here, a front post and back post double crochets, but if you want to make this part here longer, you can. I'm just going to leave it like this because now I'm going to continue along this front panel. This here is the left front panel facing me, so it's the left front panel. I am going to start right here and I'm going to continue with this yellow color. I'm going to chain one and into this last double crochet that I did, make two single crochets now the next row here we have chains at the end make one now we have a double crochet here at this end make two and then one two one make sure that these single crochets are nice and loose and then two again one and then two and so on continue like this until you come here to the top of the neckline i will meet you here and i'll tell you how many single crochets i have for this front panel i finished making these single crochets for this first front panel i have 37 single crochets now make sure that you don't make too many single crochets here and when you do the other side make sure that you make the same number of single crochets for me i have 37 for this first row now for the second row chain one and turn now here we're going to work front post and back post half double crochets so beginning on top of the first single crochet make a half double crochet now into the next single crochet work a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet make sure that these half double crochets are nice and loose into the next i did a back post now front post back post half double crochet front post half double crochet and so on continue i'll meet you here at the end of the second row to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this second row this is where i did front post and back post half double crochets now don't worry about these ends here once this part here is done we can hide our ends here into the first row of single crochets and um, if I remember at the end, I'll show you how I do that. So here at the end of the second row, I finished by making a half double crochet into the last stitch. Now for row three, chain one and turn. And here we're just going to work a half double crochet on top of the last one or the first one here on this side and then work a back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet back post half double crochet and so on for this third row just repeating the same thing continue like this i will meet you here at the top to show you what we need to do next i finished making this third row here at the end i just made my last half double crochet on top of the last stitch cut my yarn pass my yarn through that last loop and this front panel here is done now i'm going to show you how i hide my ends many of you have commented in my videos how do i hide all my ends so let me show you here now this is the needle that I use it's very long and skinny so I'm just going to pass my yarn through this hole here 
and now I'm going to find the row of single crochets. I can either go down or I can go up. Let's see, I have a lot of ends here on this side and I don't have too many down here, so I'm just going to go down instead. So I'm just going to go into this row of single crochets here, right along the very edge, and just hide this end through that row. Now pull this here, pull. Now I'm going to go back up a couple stitches here in the same way that I came down. And now pull again. And now I can cut my end here and this end is done. And that's how I hide my end. So I just need to do the rest. So I just thought I showed you that part. Now we're going to go here to this other front panel and do exactly the same thing. The only thing is that we're going to start up here. Now before I show you this next front panel, one thing, I did not add any buttonholes. This little jacket here is a unisex little jacket. You can make it for boys or girls. Um, if you're making it for girl, this is where the buttonholes would go. I did not make any buttonholes because the spaces in between the rows are big enough for buttons to fit through. You can use 10, 11, or even 12 millimeter size buttons. Continue watching. I will let you know what size buttons I'm going to use for my little sweater. So just thought I'd let you know that. And if you're making it for boys, then it's the opposite. For girls, buttonholes go on the right side. For boys, go on the left side. So now let me show you here how to do the uh, other side here. I'm going to use the yellow yarn, grab a loop here. Now we're going to start on top of this chain row, right there, to that chain. Grab a loop here, chain one, and make a single crochet into the same stitch here. Don't worry, this here is open. I'm just going to pull my yarn there and that closest. Now into the next row, the row single crochets, make one. That's what I did. And then we're going to do one and then two. Then one and two. The important thing here is that you make the same number of single crochets so that you have the same number of single crochets as you did for the first row. For me, I had 37. So I'll make sure to have 37 single crochets here at the end. Then I'm going to chain one, turn, and then work front post and back post half double crochets till I come here to the top. Then for the third row, chain one, turn, and then work your way down, making front post and back post half double crochets, just like we did here for this side. And you're always going to end with the same number of stitches. For me, it's 37. So continue, finish this second front panel. I'll come back and show you how to do the sleeves. I finished making the second front panel. Now this part here is done. Now what we're going to do next is the sleeves. I went ahead and did this side. So I'm going to show you here what you need to do. We're going to go right under the sleeve here and we're going to turn this. This here facing me would be the right sleeve. So I'm going to go right here. And this row, I'm going to work from the wrong side out. I'm going to continue this row the second row front post and back post double crochets that we did in this uh, yellow color. So here the important thing is that you follow the same pattern, front post and back post double crochets. But before we do that, to start here, I need to go right under the sleeve. This is where we have those four chains that we added when dividing the sleeves. So insert your hook into that chain four space and grab a loop here, chain one, and into this same space here, make a double crochet. Now, once I finish this first row here all around, I want to make sure I have a multiple of four. So I want to have 40 stitches at the end of this row. Remember for the sleeves, we have 33. So I need to add six stitches uh, for this part here. So here's the first one. The next one I'm going to add right here. This is that chain. Uh, where we did this fan so you can either go into the space here I'm going to go into the space there and make a double crochet and then I have this double crochet which is the double crochet that we did to divide the sleeves it's, this here is the last stitch so here into this space make two double crochets so now I have four double crochets here then we have the next 
33 stitches for this leaf. Now, the important thing here is for you to look at this row and see how the pattern goes. This is a front post, back post, front post, back post. So the next stitch, the first stitch out of these 33, I'm going to work a front post double crochet. Now, if I remember correctly, for this side, it's going to be a back post the first stitch. So just look at the pattern, see how it goes and continue with that. The next one, back post, double crochet. Next one, front post, double crochet, and so on. Now continue all around the sleeves, just making front post and back post double crochets. I will meet you right here on this last double crochet to show you how we're going to finish this first row for the first sleeve. I'm here at this other side of the sleeve. This is the first row. Now up to here I have 37 double crochets. This here was the last double crochet out of the 33 that we left for the sleeve. Here I need to add three more stitches so that at the end of this row I have 40 stitches which is multiples of four. So insert your hook here into this double crochet space and make two double crochets. Now the next one, or the last one, I'm going to do it right here. This is where we have this fan. You can either go on top or in between the two double crochets there and make your last double crochet. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet, join with a slip stitch, cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop. So this row here is done. Now for the next row, we're going to work this row from the right side. So here we're going to begin our pattern and I'm going to use this white yarn. Now go on top of the same stitch that we joined, which is the first double crochet, grab a loop here and chain three. One, two, three. Now these three chains here counts as one double crochet. And we're always going to begin each row with these three chains. So let me show you here. Here we're going to skip three double crochets, one, two, three, and into the fourth, make a fan. Now skip again, one, two, three, and into the fourth, make a fan. Remember these fans consist of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And that's all we're going to do here for this second row. Skip three, one, two, three, and into the fourth, make your fan. I'll meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have, let's see, two, four, six, eight, nine fans. Now to finish here, go into the third chain and join with a slip stitch. There. Now chain three and turn. Now for the third row, here we're going to make a front post double crochet into the second double crochet. Inside the chain space, make a V stitch. And then front post double crochet. And then same thing on each one of these fans. Front post double crochet, V stitch, double crochet or front post double crochet. Continue like this all around. I'll meet you at the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. Now to finish this row here, go into the third chain and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the third row. I have nine fans. We're always going to have nine fans and we are going to repeat these two rows from here on. So to start you off on the fourth row, chain three and turn. Now for this fourth row, we have to do the row of fans. So go into the chain space of the first fan and make your first fan. Same thing into the next. And so on. Now to finish this row, you're going to join here to the beginning into the third chain with a slip stitch, chain three, turn, and then repeat this row that we just did, the row where we do front post double crochets, and that's how we're going to continue for the sleeve. Now, I'm going to do a total of, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 rows here of the pattern for the sleeves, and then we're going to shape the bottom here of the sleeve. So continue, finish these 12 rows, then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. 
I finished making these 12 rows here for this pattern, including the first row, I have 13 rows. Now here at the end, I joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, chain three and turned. Now here, what I'm going to do is inside each one of the fans into the chain one spaces here, I'm going to make two double crochets. Now in the middle between the fans, make one double crochet. And this is how we're going to continue all around two double crochets into the chain one space of each fans and one double crochet in the middle between the fans continue like this to the end of the 14th row i'll meet you at the end i finished row 14 i have 27 double crochets including these three chains here at the beginning now to finish i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop now for the cuff we're going to do two rows of front post and back post half double crochets so to begin here we're going to go into this first double crochet so right on top grab a loop here with the yellow color chain one and right into the same stitch this double crochet make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochets this is how we're going to continue front post and back post half double crochets i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of this first row for the cuff my last stitch here is into this chain three and i did a front post double crochet to finish the row, go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row, chain one and then just repeat the same thing. This first stitch here is a front post half double crochet, so make a front post half double crochet. Next one, back post half double crochet, front post, back post, and so on. Continue, finish this row, which is the last row here. Then just join to the beginning, cut your yarn, pass your yarn through that last loop. And then I'll come back and show you the finished sleeve. We finished making the sleeve here at the end. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. And the sleeve is done. And this is how it looks. Continue watching. I'll give you the final measurement once the little jacket here is done. When you do this side, you're going to do it exactly in the same way as I showed you here, with the exception of the first row, as I explained it when I was making this uh, first row here in yellow. Now, what I'm going to do next here is the neckline. So here, we're going to start on this side. Facing me, this will be the left side. So we're going to go right here to this front panel. I'm going to go into this row here at the end. I'm going to insert my hook there, grab a loop with this yellow yarn, chain one, and then make a half double crochet here. Half double crochet into the next row, half double crochet into the row single crochets. And now in between these single crochets along the neckline here, make a half double crochet. And we're going to go right in the middle of two stitches, not on top, just in between two stitches like this make a half double crochet continue like this all around I will meet you here at this end to show you what we need to do next I finished this first row here for the neckline I have a total of 58 half double crochets now what I'm going to do next is front post and back post half double crochets so to do this here I'm going to chain one and turn beginning on top of the first half double crochet here make a half double crochet into the next work a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet and so on this is how i'm going to continue for this second row make sure that these half double crochets are nice and loose So continue, finish this row. 
I finished making this last row all around the neckline. This is how it looks. Here at the end, I just did my last half double crochet, cut my yarn, and passed my yarn through that last loop. I already hid my ends here on the inside. And I also went ahead and attached my buttons. Now these buttons here are 13 millimeter size, but you can use 11, 12, or even 13 like I did here. And I only added three because that's all I had. I purchased these buttons from Hobby Lobby and you can certainly add more buttons, but that's all I had and I think it looks nice as well. Now, let me give you the finished measurement here of the little jacket. From the top of the neckline to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 25 centimeters, which is about 10 inches from under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve. It's measuring about 15.5 centimeters, which is about six inches. Now, the width of the sleeve here, just the top, it's measuring about 8.5 centimeters, which is about 3.5 inches. Now, this measurement here, right across, it's measuring about 11.5 centimeters, which is about 4.5 inches total length from the top of the neckline to the end here. It's measuring about 27 centimeters, which is about 10.5 inches. And the chest measurement, just the top, it's measuring about 23 centimeters, which is about nine inches. So based on these measurements, this little cardigan sweater is for baby boys and girls between three and six months old. Now you can easily make it smaller or bigger from a newborn baby and up to 12 months. In the information box below, I'll leave some information on how you can easily make it smaller or bigger. So be sure to check that out. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.